Math madness took over the Russian School of Mathematics in Framingham last month with the goal of making numbers fun to learn. The Russian school teaches math with traditional and not so traditional methods. This event, along with their Mathapalooza event in the fall, attracts families from all over Massachusetts. Young people and adults learn from demonstrations and problem solving, as well as traditional classroom time. What we try to do is in these Mathapalooza events and math, math madness events, we try to distill the joy, which is not as in as dense in the classroom obviously we have to teach them math we have this is not, not not every class is like this event and in fact classes are not like those events but there are elements of this appreciation of math and beauty of math in every classroom we have a very different way of teaching math and a lot of times that that appeals to people regardless of which end of the spectrum they're on it's a great feeling when you know somebody just doesn't get it you know, and you work, and you work, and you work, and they have that, like, breakthrough. They're like, aha! You know, and then they're, they're like, all right, I got this, I got this, I got this. We teach kindergarten through calculus, so basically age 5 to 17. We have kids from about, uh, they, kids who come to the school come from about 40 different towns all over. In the larger Massachusetts, in Russian School of Math schools, there are about 8,000 kids right now. It's an enrichment school. We're open seven days a week, but all the classes are either in the after school hours or, or on the weekends. This is like the fir that, that thing that I found, you know, where they tell you to find something that doesn't feel like work. You know, and like this is that thing that just does not feel like work. I could be in a lousy mood and I'll come in here to teach and I'm in a great mood suddenly because I get to like just hang out with kids and we play these games and you know, I, I try to kind of hide the fact that we're doing math. What I hear from a lot of students, even the ones who find this very difficult, is that often in school, they're doing these same topics a year or two later, and they come back um, and they say, well, now in school, I'm the math hero. We just did such and such topic, and I remember doing it with you a year or two ago, and I knew it, and this time I really understood it, and I nailed it, and you just see that they're, that they're blooming. It was a smaller version of the Metapalooza event that we ran in September, and we hope it will be a tradition. We really do bring a different way of teaching. Um, it's very logical, it's very analytical. We always try to teach kids why they're doing something as opposed to just this is the rule and this is how you're supposed to do it. Um, it's, it's a very energizing place to be. There's that little bulb, and that's, that's just wonderful. And all of a sudden, we've been, somebody's been trying something again and again, and all of a sudden, you hear from, from out in the students, you hear, <gasps> And you realize that, that the connection's been made and they're just going to understand that forever. That's, that's a fabulous feeling.